three, five root. And we went over that. Check out that lesson if you didn't already. Um, and I thought, well, what about, though, that's just going to kind of make it so they're always playing over the one chord. What if they want to emphasize the four chord or the five chord? How can I make that, uh, how can I make something explainable? And then I was thinking, hey, you know what? I mean, I knew that it plugged into the shapes we all know and love as Aeolian, Phrygian shape, and Dorian shape. If you don't know what those are, you're going to have to go back and study a little bit. And if you do know what those are, awesome. Just by shape names, don't worry that they also have a mode name and that gets confusing for people. We're not talking about Dorian, Phrygian, or uh, Aeolian today, um, but they, they correspond like this. Um, if you, um, are playing an Ionian, the, there's a square, there's always a square box in the fretboard. We've gone over that in other lessons. This square box can help you navigate the entire fretboard. Super easy. Check out all those old lessons. If you know about this, great. You may know that the Ionian is seven root three, four. And then I thought, well, wait a minute. Is Lydian the same? And it, the intervals actually change. The pattern is the same, but the intervals inside the boxes actually change. So I thought, what are they? And when I mapped them out, some interesting things developed. I saw some cool geometry. Uh, what I'm going to tell you now may not help you in what, in what you think about when you actually jam. But here's some interesting stuff. Notice seven root three, four. Well, take the seven R and flip it around and put it at the bottom and then you have the sharp fourth and the fifth and the interesting thing about these top intervals is that it contains the special interval that makes Lydian Lydian it's in the magic box kind of cool huh well what do you know over here well and uh, just let me finish with that the uh, six the th um the six the two and the three are always the same as the Ionian in Mixolydian, we have the um, the two is the same, the five is the same, and the uh, root is the same. The difference is the flatted seventh. And what do you know? That's in the uh, basically the opposite corner. Everything's opposite. Look at that. From Ionian, you got the three and the four come down here. Then it's the sixth and the uh, flatted seventh. Make up Mixolydian. Pretty cool, huh? So that's just something that you might remember when you're uh, jamming and you're over that square and you want to actually emphasize one of those intervals for a particular reason. There you go. Um, but what might uh, be a little more handy is this. So you can see here that if you just can look at these for their basic pentatonic shell, the interval is always the same. Root, you're gonna, your root is going to be here. But if this was your four chord, it would still be root, third, fifth, root, third, fifth, root. Same with this one, root, third, fifth, root, third, fifth, all the same. So what makes it different? It's the other plug-in notes. It's where you put the square. Here you put the square here, and I forgot to draw. Let's see if I can get that drawn in really quick there. Oh, yeah. Right there. You've got your square there, your square there. And your square leads up back here, which is this square for Aeolian. And Aeolian has a broken square over the string shift and half a square down here. And we'll talk about that in a second. And the Mixolydian has a, because um, it's always as is above, so is below. So if you have a square above, you have half a square below. We have a full square above and half a square below. And this actually is the same as this. This, is, this shape occurs just after this shape on the fretboard so this is actually this box but however we would we wouldn't consider this the uh, like for this would be the five in the root if we were playing you know emphasizing our four chord chord tones of our four chord but here we'd be emphasizing the the chord tones of our five chord then the is it's going to be over here and over there sound good so we have the police checking us out. But anyways, you can sue us for giving a guitar lesson. <laughs> um, the um, Down here I tried to show you here how the uh, how it the square and the side there. So how it shows up in the bottom there. But anyways, um, so you can 
jam emphasizing the root the chord tones but also know the scale notes of whatever you're um jamming in so i'm going to jam for you now and i have a feeling that that officer is probably going to stop and ask us a question but maybe he won't maybe he'll just breeze on by and cool there he goes checking out the park so here we go i'm going to step on the pedal here it's going to play a five chord and a four chord. I think we're uh, the A is the five chord and our G is a four chord. So um, what key is that? I think that's going to be the key of D, if I'm not mistaken, right? And um, yeah, and I'm going to, uh, which is in inconsequential to know anyways. I'll just jam a little bit for you using this shape and uh, you'll hear that uh, I'm going to plug in these tones and they're going to sound okay. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you me playing, but... Or even where I'm going to mount the phone while I do this, but so you can see anything at all. But I guess we'll do this. How about that? Oh, don't think you guys can see anything there, but here we go. Chord tone, chord tone, chord tone, chord tone, chord, chord. Non, chord tone, non, scale tone. Scale, scale, bend up to a chord tone. Bend to the fifth, the fourth to the five, three, Root, five, three, root. Well, hopefully you could hear what I was doing there and what I was screaming out over the, over what I did there in this kind of crummy lesson. So uh, there's our 10 minutes for today. I hope you enjoyed. Mark this down on your, uh, in your graph paper and uh, let me know what you thought. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Tell a friend about these great lessons that actually help you show you something you can take home and study versus a look at me lesson. I'm going to teach you how to play 18 notes per string and tell you about a whole bunch of random things and a discount code and uh, really give you nothing tangible uh, during the whole 20 minutes I talk to you. Oh, um, well, I'm not going to name any names, but that's a lesson I saw yesterday that I... Uh, was just frustrated with and but it was good because that got me to uh think about putting the energy into giving you guys this lesson so uh have a great day and uh we'll talk to you soon let me know about other lessons you'd like to learn thank you and have a great day bye